30 minute game, zero increment. Push through the center. Strange looking start to the game. Let's develop the night. Trying to maintain that focus on getting something done, closing closing the deal. Just gonna bring the bishop here. A good lockdown. Very strange opening indeed, but it's not saying it's not going to work with all odd openings. You know, we just like to try and develop and make sure that the pieces are in the right spaces. Queen's got check on the king. Let's take. Going to bring the knight out, bait in the pawn, attack the queen. Knight doesn't have any defense there, so we have to be mindful of that. Let's continue attacking the queen. Okay, so the queen's come to the spot we said they were coming because the knight's got no protection. And we could attack the bishop. It's also attacking the weak pawn. Let's go with that. And if the bishop forgets, the queen forgets itself, the knight is defending and the bishop is defending as well. So we'll take the bishop, queen takes maybe, do we hang fire on that, is there another attack on the queen, or do we just go and castle, could go and castle, take, if the queen takes on the bishop. Knights on the bishops, so let's just take it. I just noticed the variance and I didn't know that they did different levels because we've got like the 1600, they've got like a 1200. Uh. Okay, so the knight can go and attack the queen again, but again, it's protected this time. So if the queen comes here, so I'm going to hit the queen again just to give them something to think about. Here, white square bishop can hit the queen. This pawn is protected. I think we're going to bring the bishop, attack in the queen, x ray through to the rook. Knight's defending the pawn at the minute. If they forget themselves, as we mentioned, the bishop is protecting the knight. Queen still dancing. We're hoping that we can get them all trapped in. I mean, doing this is going to double the pawns. Maybe not too enticing. Just castle, I think. 
Now it's protecting these squares so the bishop can't dance around. So I think we're going to castle. I am tempted to push the pawn. A smaller piece attack and a higher piece. Just he's got the knight there. There's nothing else is there before I... Knight's protecting that. Let's castle. Rook has no place in the centre of the ball, but it is looking to swing across here, it looks like. Because the knight's still protecting this pawn. It looks a bit higgledy-piggledy, but... Uh, we'll push this pawn to then hit the queen. Can't get this bishop out. Get this rook facing their king. Get the queen out. Just do this small move. See if we get time to push the small piece onto the big piece. Okay, so he's attacking the pawn. He's only got one on there at the minute. Has he landed on anything? No, knight's still protecting that. So, looks like we've got an x-ray through. It's just that his knight is going to protect the damn thing. So, we looks like we can get the... Bishop off. Maybe the queen, but the queen might come and grab this pawn. So maybe we're not going to do that. Just yet. Let's hang fire. Could push this pawn. Just to support. It's probably going to hit here because the rook is opposite our queen. Hit that side then even. Alright, so let's bring the rook across. So the pawn can't move because we're x ray through to their king. But we need to get our queen off of here somehow. Maybe doubling the attack. Could have even brought the queen there. Probably pushing. We do have one, two, three on there. They've only got two. So maybe they're coming across. So I thought he was going to push this one. Right, so he's um, protecting the pawn. So we can take the pawn. Or we can bring the queen here. But if we bring the queen here, then he just brings his rook there as well. We take, his rook takes. Knight can now attack the knight and the bishop. I think we'll do that. We've castled. I'm going to take the knight, then bring the bishop here. I think the queen will take because it's not going to want the x ray through from the bishop onto the rook. And plus he doesn't want to double his pawns. So let's attack the rook. Have to be careful because if he does get space with this pawn, say he just drops back, then this bishop can come here. Yeah, so he's dropped back. So I think they're planning on doing that because our queen is facing off. So if we went running, taking the pawn, he takes. We have to move the queen out of the way. So that's okay. Then we're not getting caught with that. Let's take. 
We've got nice defense here with the pawns. Let's move the queen. This moves across. Get the bishop off the back. Maybe a bit of defense nanny. Yeah, so he's brought the rook across. Let's just get the blockage in. They're looking so much for that bishop doing that. Might take a moment to move the king across. This rook is jammed in. So getting our bishop here would be... Ooh, but he can block with his bishop. Yeah, just moving it out of the way. Going to attack their queen. Idea still coming here. But that rook would have moved by them. Capture, we're back on hitting the pawn. Oh, it doesn't do a pre move. Yeah. So it's not interested in any of that. We could still go and attack, but like we said, they can do this. Let's take the queen off the board. Let's attack the rooks. Take Let's attack. I'd like to say that was just one small blunder. I'm hoping we can take advantage of it if we can. Got to practice savoring the moment, not going fast. Defense.